So <laughs> when I found out that Zach Bagans purchased an item related, uh, well, purchased an item that has ties to Ed and Lorraine Warren and this freaky story, I was like, I just cannot wait to see it. So now, uh, now that the stars have all aligned, let me tell you one really messed up story. Back on February 16th, 1981, Arnie Cheyenne Johnson, <clears throat> I think his middle name is Cheyenne, I assume that's how it's pronounced, it's C-H-E-Y-E-N-N-E, -E -E. Cheyenne, okay. Arnie Cheyenne Johnson, who was only 19 years old, stabbed his landlord multiple times with a five-inch pocket knife. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And just says multiple times. Yeah. Wow. It was the first murder on the books in the 193-year history of Brookfield, Connecticut. According to Johnson, however, while his was the hand that held the knife, the murder was committed by a demonic force that had taken that had overtaken him. Of course, I'm not going to do any other story. I mean, of course, I'm not going to do a story that doesn't have demonic ties since we're, going, we're talking about Zach Reagan's Haunted Museum, you know? For Johnson's victim, the story ended there, but for Johnson and the Warrens, it had started months earlier when the 11 year old David Glassell allegedly had a set, allegedly had a strange encounter. Glassell's older sister, Debbie, was Johnson's fiance. David Glassell, Debbie Glassell, and Arnie Johnson were cleaning up a rental property when David told them that an old man had appeared pushing and threatening him. At first, the couple wrote it off as a kid who was trying to get out of doing his chores. <laughs> <laughs> like, going back to sleep on the floor. <laughs> and, but David remained adamant. The odd sightings not only continued, they increased in both frequency and intensity. At night, David would wake up crying, describing visitations by a man with big black eyes, a thin face, animal-like features, and jagged teeth, pointed ears, horns, and hooves. Sorry, this goes on and on and on. <laughs> I keep looking up because I'm like, that's the end. Then I look down and no, there's more. <laughs> David's visions of a man had morphed from appearing as an old man wearing a white what? An old man with a white beard, dressed in a flannel shirt and jeans, to now appearing entirely as a demonic beast who would also mutter words or phrases in Latin and threaten to steal his soul. That is, that makes so much sense, actually. Really? Well, I mean, like, that that it would ease you into yeah. it. <laughs> it was, yeah. Yeah, it was, like, just the kind of a creepy, you know, authority type figure older right. man you listen to me boy sure and then it's like slowly starting to show itself well isn't this something that we've heard before it always seems like it kind of appears as something that you can trust or that you would want to help at first and then Someone. slowly releases its yeah. darker side to you yeah fucking those men <laughs> they are creepy <laughs> they're so clever they're so <laughs>